Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to do this time, I wanted to do another flip through through my sketchbook. Um, yeah, so I started it on the 26th of uh, September. Um, and these drawings are from Draw Me Schmö. Um, so this, I do that every once in a while when I want to say thank you for to my followers because you're awesome guys. <laughs> And it's, I'm regularly amazed how many people like my art and um, yeah and and sort of drawing cartoony versions of my followers is sort of my thing of thing. Thank you. I think I had I I uh, I saw this first on Sirens uh, account and I liked that. She, she, it's it's a nice way of saying thank you. Okay, so these I I did um, for the for Romy Schmö and I colored them in Photoshop. And there you can see them also on my Instagram, the colored final versions. But yeah, these are still followers. I really liked this drawing because uh, she was so fun with her kitty. Um, yeah, and still. I'd never posted this one because I wasn't quite happy with it, but um, yeah. So this one this was also in Photoshop I finalized. Um, yeah, here these are more more diary-like drawings. Um, <laughs> this was me trying out a new pillow and uh, the next day I had a migraine and I wasn't sure whether it was the, was the pillow's fault. I don't think so. I just had a migraine. <laughs> In, on my Instagram I, I swapped the places from them because it made more sense because this is the first drawing, this is the, the, <laughs> this is the night after. But well, okay, yeah, and so we get to Inktober. Uh, I love Inktober and um, here you can see a lot of Inktober in this sketchbook. Um, this was Bibi Blocksberg, a little witch in, no, pretty known in Germany and other countries as I learned on my Instagram too. <laughs> yeah, this was out to draw, drawing when we were drawing outside and I sort of started but I wasn't very motivated so I sort of... Uh, didn't finalize it here. I was just sort of started the drawing and never wasn't happy with the face So I sort of started the next uh, which I liked um, but, and I often when when October I start doodling or sort of trying the brushes on the other page so But I shouldn't do that because it means it's a waste of space basically it doesn't make a pretty pretty picture Yeah, so here more which is I think her I never posted I don't know why because I actually like that one looks like how how the blacks are uh, yeah, sort of the, the hard black sh shadows are like that. Mm. The shapes come out well that way. Mm. Yeah, I think this one is... It's, it's, this is with very, very fine, fine liner. Uh, wait a minute. I can... No, can I show you? Yes. This one... G school. I was trying it out. Um, yeah, and 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 with a slight wash, with with gray scale, with a gray with gray scales with with my uh, uh, watercolor pen. Mm, so this was Inktober number three. More Inktobers. <laughs> yeah, here I was trying out these pens. Um, these ones. I really like them because they have a very flexible tip. I'll do an extra tools video as well, but I could, here it makes sense. And what I what I like about this one is that it's not waterproof, and um, that's why I sort of went over the drawing with uh, with just with water, and then I, I could have this wash of grayscale on top of these, and I, the, the drawing underneath was with a red pencil, and then on top I worked with with this pen. Okay, this was a really horrible Tiffany. <laughs> I always write stuff which, when I hate it next to it, but you can't really see it here, I think. Mm, yeah, okay, Inktober number seven. So here's another Tiffany aching. This was a birthday present 
for a friend for a very good friend. Mm. This one was also with this very thin pen. I was still it takes some getting used to. I'm not not the biggest fan of it yet. Mm. But I like. But it's it's always good to have different pens. That's what what Inktober is. So what makes Inktober so fun? You can sort of experiment a lot. Yeah, here's just random face doodles. Uh, don't know. Playing around. Okay, so here's here are tons of feet. Uh, from here, I started off from imagination. Then I did started off with referencing feet. Um, yeah, and. Uh, Wrote the the number of the foot next to it, sort of to know to to keep track how many feet I did because I wanted to do a hundred. Um, I lost this pen. Uh, I don't know where it, it it got to, but I really liked sketching with it. It's a it's a it's a. I think it's wait a minute. The pencil. It's, it's food like gray pen. I don't know. I lost it I don't know why I must get myself a new one because I really like sketching with it yeah so here was Inktober number nine um, here was the sketch for the next Inktober which I, where I wasn't happy with the composition yet it was sort of too much in the same direction so I redid the sketch and I was still wasn't quite happy with it even though the the, the pose of the the rabbit was good here and so then I I did another version where I liked the composition better sort of because here it goes more because her her, her body is in a bit different per, uh, from a different angle than the rabbit and I like that better than both having them both move in the same direction sort of yeah and then still her looking in the same direction as the rabbit so that that was for me the best solution this was done on the train, somebody playing with their mobile. People always uh, do that on the train. Uh, it's a good good exercise for hands. So next thing, Doba, 11, with another Tiffany, where she's uh, stepped out of her body, so I wanted to have her look this, like the stock still puppet. Sometimes I write stuff on the side, uh, sort of notes to myself, which aren't actually related to the drawings, but, oh well. In the Inktobas, you, I often have these these marks on, bo on both pages, just trying stuff out and everything. This was how, when it started to get hard uh, getting dressed, and so it's a it's an Inktober with a, a diary-like character. So this is me sort of worrying about uh, getting the other shoe on. Oh yeah, right. I was always trying to do the the, the motto of the Inktober. This was worry, I think, or, or something like that. I don't re remember. Okay, so here's just doodling with pens. I think it just was this one. The touch pen from Pentel. Okay, more feet. Um, this was uh, a birthday gift for a friend, um, which I d redid. I scanned this and then redid it on another piece of paper, on brown paper, sort of to have it so I could give it away as a gift. Yeah, more feet. <laughs> and, and the next thing, October. I like this one. I actually like that it's it's it's, it's, it's so loose and still uh, mm, it's loose. I think I, I, that's the, the best way to describe it. I like the looseness I had when 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 inking it. More feet. Feet are actually quite fun. I I'm, I'll probably do this again sometime when I feel that I've lost some edge on feet. Um, it's always you always have to redo this because I, I did a lot of hands and now at the moment I feel like hands don't work as well as they did after the challenge so it always helps to, to do this fr from once in a while always practice throw in a, some practice of hands I don't have to do hundreds again but just from time to time I always draw hands and feet so this was from reference I don't know what reference I think some English town but I'm not sure because I, I follow uh, some tur tourists 
touristic Instagrams where they always post nice countryside pics like here. This was also some Great Britain thingy uh, reference. Um, this was just a sketch of myself. What sort of, I don't know, didn't like it really. This one um, is, isn't really very readable. You, I mean, you have these two witches here and it's not not very readable. I, I tried to, I don't know, I just sort of, I did too much and it sort of died on the way. But this this drawing I like a lot. This is, this is a, yeah, me again. This was for one of my dresses and drawings uh, with a photo. I, ha I posted this on Instagram of my outfit. Yeah, so... Again, ran random sketches in the train. Here, me trying to stylize people on the train a bit. Train doodles. Another Inktober. Always the underdrawing is in red, and then as always, and then black on top. Which one pens? I think this might be a mixture of pens. Mm -hmm. Train drawings. Now this was a um, life drawing, at a dra life drawing session, so I, I started off also, still, since it was Inktober, I, I, I tried drawing uh, without an underdrawing and just, just getting the model, but that's really hard to me, so I sort of switched <laughs> and went to pencil. Yeah, here more life drawing, a very nice and very... Mm, this model is very, very edgy. Um, she's so very thin, and you can see like every detail of her muscles, and and, and I really like that. And this one I really like. Mm. These are a bit meh. Okay, so here more sketches. These are not that good. That's why I didn't, never posted them. <laughs> Here's a Fiegel I never posted because I didn't li quite like him either. Um, another Inktober trying out my uh, goldish paint watercolors. Um, yeah, so this was I think just quick on the train. Another Inktober. <laughs> this actually happened. It happens from time to time, and I think it happened that day. So I decided to draw it. Um, yeah, so over here I started a hand challenge, but I think these are all from reference. I get my re references on DeviantArt often, or I just Google, Google uh, hands uh, stock or something like that, and then I usually land on DeviantArt, So because there's a lot of people who have stock uh, images. I, sorry for not crediting them now all. I don't remember which ones I use. Um, it's an exercise. This was from reference. This one, but I changed it a bit just sort of for to to get a nicer composition to get a nice so story. She wasn't the, the girl wasn't looking to to the camera. This one I, I felt like would be nicer when she would be looking back. Mm. Yeah, here two witches. <laughs> I should have sort of I. I had little space here. It would have been better to <laughs> to push her a bit more to the side, but I didn't. As I, when I started drawing her, I didn't plan on doing the second witch. Yeah, but that's it. Just turned out that way. More people on the train. This is from reference from Ophelia Violetta. I hope I I pronounced that right. I, when you just read the names, you never pronounce them so. <laughs> But I, she always has really nice outfits, and this was she looked so witchy, so I, th I thought I'd in I'd inktober her too. <laughs> More inktober. Well, yes, this is from uh, this is for this is depicting a party I went to, still very pregnant. And I was hit on on that party, and the the guy didn't know didn't notice I was pregnant, uh, and I was quite quite uh, happy. <laughs> I was like, yes, still, still got it. <laughs> okay, just another October. Never finished this drawing. I should do that sometime because I actually like it. Um, yeah, 
here. This was from a, a book which uh, Azu got, Olga Azu rocks on on Instagram. Uh, she from these weird uh, guys where where people so folk folkish uh, weird creature thingies and they I find found they were really inspirational so I sort of sketched sketched these. Yeah. Another October from when I went to <laughs> inspect a child a, a kindergarten and uh, promptly got got the germs that they were these kids were co sort of uh, contracting and next day I was sick. So yeah, here yeah, drawing still hands, hundred hands. These are from reference from 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 DeviantArt. Um, I think I link I linked the 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 lady in Instagram. Um, yeah, this one I didn't finish, but I like this one too actually. Again from reference, this is again a British some British town. <laughs> I really enjoy those. I am my father's from England, and we used to go there when I was a, a small kid. I guess, and I I really have. Uh, yeah, I have a connection to Great Britain. I like a lot about it. But I live in Germany, so... <laughs> Germany's cool too. Yeah, so... Nearly the last October. I never posted this one, I don't know why. It's, 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 it's fun, but... I don't know. I forgot about it. <laughs> Hands on the bus. Very light drawing. Sorry, it's probably not that visible but yeah just people people's hands mm. yeah drawing centaurs or deer tours or whatever <laughs> it's always fun I do that when nothing else comes to mind I always sort of you can always get some shapes and get nice movement uh, with them I just enjoy drawing uh, four hooved <laughs> things, so yeah. yeah. I practiced, I drew her this first, and then I, I thought, okay, let's practice some, some deers. And uh, I had a good day here, I really like these. These aren't that good animals. We were so, uh, visiting a friend, and we had on a big uh, monitor, we had uh, references where we were all drawing just these were going through, I think, every, f I don't know, five minutes, three minutes, I don't know. Just edibles. I think these blue ones aren't that visible. Yeah, they're not that good either, so anyway, so that's okay. More animals. Practice. Yeah, this was a, still at the same friend. We were sitting outside at the end and... Uh, had a fire going, which is always a nice thing, and had lovely girl chat, girl talk <laughs> around the fire. Never finished this. Okay, this was another draw me schmoo. And here, what is this? I think probably on the train. See, it's it's always the same at the moment here. I'm practicing a lot. Draw me schmoos. Weirdness. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I like this drawing. I, I, this one is sort of loose and fun. Another draw me schmoo. What was I trying to do here? Was this a Hermione? I don't know. Mm. Ah, okay, here I was in the hospital because my baby boy tried to get out too early, so sort of. So I had to go to the hospital and uh, keep him calm. <laughs> this was from reference. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce her, but she's a really nice and cool girl, and uh, I linked her on Instagram. Um, yeah, so this was getting out of the hospital. I was collected by Irina Wildklee on Instagram, and yeah, so I, these are these diary-like drawings where I sort of draw what happens or what I imagine happened or what could happen. <laughs> didn't happen exactly that way but pretty much because this is the taxi which we went home in so yeah mm, 
here I started drawing facades. Um, and I wanted to do a challenge of those, but this is very tedious. And I didn't get further than seven, and I have to do still 93. Well, maybe I'll continue, maybe I won't, I don't know. <laughs> so, this is more, more diary-like drawings, or imaginary diary. <laughs> we were always imagining that the baby boy in, in my tummy is a little dinosaur, so I th thought I'd, I'd draw this, it's just goofy, goofing around. And I was trying to do, and this is, you can see maybe I didn't have an underdrawing here, so I just sort of started drawing and here too. And uh, I was practicing that a bit, sort of sometimes just draw without an underdrawing, because I'm not that good at it, and it turned out okay. Yeah, so this is just practice from references, again without underdrawings, trying to do it very loosely more non-underdrawing drawings. I do this from time to time. It always the, the results are a bit different than when you have an underdrawing, so I I enjoyed this. I like this one. So yeah, this is another draw me schmoo. And here, me playing Pokemon because we got Pokemon. Oh, I forgot to carry on playing that. Mm. I should, because it's fun. Even though I sort of seem to lose uh, the fun in playing games at the moment. But so, yeah, okay, and here is the last draw, Mishmu. So that was it. Here I got some li list of stuff. So the, and I use the Canson sketchbook. This, what I like about this one is that it's got, it's got a magnet and uh, the paper is quite nice. But I always change every, every time um, I, I'm done with the sketchbook, I feel like, no, not, not, not the same one again, I want to try a new one. And this one I, I always revert to, and, but this, it always breaks, so I always have to stick something on top. My, my sketchbooks always look a bit, and here it was as well sort of breaking, so I sort of stuck some washi tape on it. Yeah, so that was that. I hope you liked it. See you next time.